Why am I wearing the beanie like this? Who told you this was good, Mike? I hate to say it, but maybe FIFA put a little age on me. I feel like this is about to be hype. You've been warned. Finesse? We got a little finesse action? Ooh. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and today we are rerunning some of the glory days. Many of you would consider FIFA 17 the greatest of the new era. Foot Champions era. Weekend League. This is your title of choice. We might have a slight bias because of that massive introduction. Competitive scene, esports, gameplay focused. That bias could come into play. We're gonna relive that today. If you enjoyed FIFA 17, one of your favorite titles, drop a like. I wanna do more of these retro FIFAs, especially considering we're moments, well, days, well, weeks, a few weeks from the official FIFA 21 release. This is a nice mix up of content and it allows us to really go back in time. Nostalgic vibes. Is your favorite title actually that good? Because once we've moved on, we always remember the good times. Not the AI defending, not the flawed chip through balls or the goalkeepers that couldn't save anything. No arms, no gloves, no hands. We have that. I'm part of that, I'm guilty. Like I said, drop a like on the video. Comment down below your favorite FIFA installment, period. Maybe a top three or a top five. If you're really in the mood, you wanna romance me. A little FIFA back and forth. I'll meet you for the weekend league matchups. We'll discuss our tactics. I'll give you all those intricate details, them custom tactics, those instructions. Of course, over our weekend date, we'll meet up on Discord. Make sure you have a good microphone. Slap that headset on. Hold on! Oh, headset, it's been plugged in. Let's watch some of my content back from FIFA 17. I was in that transition stage. I was still dirty, Mike. But at some point in FIFA 17, I would say earlier than later, I then moved to hashtag. And I was hashtag Mike. We've had a few rebrands. Cheers to the supporters, all you beautiful people. We appreciate you here. And we got a lot of drip, apparently. Yo, my mustache, it just doesn't connect. Do you see that? The mustache, no, no connectivity to the goatee. Cheers. The pear edition. Ah, oh, if you haven't had it. Sugar. Sugar, sugar free mm. Mm, mm, mm. my youtube search box is all over the place or my youtube recommended we have nelk joe rogan bodybuilding andrew schultz podcast and dj vlad interviews and some gaming around smash Bros. what a selection let's do fifa 17 dirty mike Dirty Mike versus the best foot champions player. Oh no, the beanie is back. If you saw the previous episode with FIFA 15. Yo, what's happening, my beautiful people? And Look at this, what were we doing? A lot of cheek there. Not so much facial hair. I might've had some acne dots in here too, man. I need to get it together. Why am I wearing the beanie like this? Who told you this was good, Mike? This is bad news. People don't even know if you have hair. Before I get into the Dirty Mike versus Crossy, and yes, I'm wearing a purple beanie. It's kind of chilly in my room. I asked you Wait, did I just say I'm wearing a purple beanie because it's chilly in my room? Terrible. God, I don't know if I can get past this beanie that I'm wearing. I still have these shorts, by the way. Three-quarter joints. Adios. Adios. <laughs> this is the content you ask for. So I was running a green screen. Are we going to play FIFA? At first 10 minutes, I am terrible. Just terrible. I already conceded. You know what's interesting is my gameplay from a actual frames looks better in FIFA 17 than now. I think it's just because in the current stage, I'm ripping so much content where I was taking this from the source. If you record directly from an Elgato, fun fact, boy, is it clean and crispy. I'm already down a goal, side note. Shot. That's a lucky deflection. I like the music choice, Mike. Good job. Okay. Ronaldo, scoop. George Best, scoop. Vieira, I had quite a team, didn't I? There we Ooh. are! That's the equalizer! That's what I'm talking about, Mike, the equalizer. And if you recall, I was still competing in FIFA 17. Definitely a main focus, so that's why you're seeing so many premium players. Happy days. I like this ball movement. And we're on the board! Yes, sir! Top five improvements to FIFA 17 Ultimate Team rant. This seems very fitting. Talking about the top five ways to improve 
FIFA 17. Top five ways to improve FIFA 17. Man, this isn't that long ago, man. I was looking significantly younger. I'll tell you what. <sighs> I hate to say it, but maybe FIFA put a little age on me. Look at that. I don't have any facial hair in this. Very, barely any. Very clean shaven. I don't even know if I was growing the mustache. That is a FIFA Interactive uh, shirt. FIFA Interactive uh, World Cup turned into FIFA E World Cup. Homework. I made my bed, apparently, though. Look at this bed. Come on. Who wouldn't be impressed by that? How many pillows do you have at home? So, you know, I am a gameplay producer. Hey. I can answer any type of gameplay questions that's sam getting interviewed by chew boy wow i had some creativity with this intro do you have what's happening my beautiful people my name is dirty mike and today oh it feels good to hear the dirty mike so, wow i had a full hold on i had a full chin strap yeah i did look at this full chin strap not recommended fellas <laughs> What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and today, my friends, I'm bringing you that premium content. Mm -hmm. Those transitions are clean. Ooh, we're looking good. Marcelo, Bonucci, you got some decent options. Man, this really brings back some of the, the old vibes. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but just the way that I was creating content, some of the layouts from the live stream, ah! some of the backdrops. Worldwide phenomena. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The dead fish. Yo, you have to drop a like if you remember this moment. Classic. I think I did a video with Japes on that. Probably one of the last Japes videos that he put out. I don't know why we're grabbing. Yeah, who told me beanies were the, the wave? Don't get me wrong. I still own plenty of beanies, but brother. Brother, brother, brother. Brother. No, but I, Ocho, down Ocho down Cinco, baby. Like, doesn't matter how long. I didn't win. You heard that? He didn't win. Flip Wait, that. We're not done. Drop a thumb. Drop a thumbs up on this video. Turn up. My name, my name is Dirty Mike. I got a lot more flying out for you ASAP. ASAP. Woo! I'm going to eat your cookies. I'm going to drink your milk. And I'm going to spend quality time with your wife. Woo! I got some Santa plans in the future. Just saying. If you look at that punish anticipation. I was ahead of my time. Before the breakdown boards. Before even EA Esports in general. With some of the tutorials and the design work. I'm patting myself on the back. This is good quality. It's easy to understand. It's valuable. It's an asset. It's going to improve your gameplay. Join the damn FIFA school if you haven't already. FIFA 21 is going to be serious. Serious business. What's happening my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike. Yo, check your boy out. You don't see that too often. You got to admit. Not too often. I put the suit on? Look at this guy. Your boy was definitely on it. Advanced body faint. Utilize the sideline. Should I bring back some collar shirts and some ties? I feel like it seems fitting for tutorials. Hello. Look at this squad. Once again, not my account. I cannot recover any of my accounts properly pre-FIFA 18. I think that's when we had the crossover to the PlayStation and I got everything. But beforehand, I can't find any of my accounts. This is nice though. 99 Ronaldo, and that's pack pull, I believe. Pack pull. First owner. I repeat, first owner. Well, this is lovely. We're not gonna run up anything with the tactics, go too much in depth here. You got what you need. Conte, Kevin De Bruyne, Petit. Back four maybe could be better, but I'm not gonna complain. Let's rerun the action. Current FIFA with FIFA 20 and the older FIFAs. The way they get forward and support runs, they look like they wanna score. Uh-oh, Ronaldo. Oh, failed drag backs. Oh, is this El Tornado or no? That's a foul ref. Split. And the passing is crisp in this. KDB? Saw that some range. Something that's so lost in the essence of football in FIFA 20 is the offensive AI and just its lack of presence. It's not there. It's not relevant. It's not prevalent. It's not a factor. This first half, I'm kind of feeling it out. There you go. Uh, I do remember plenty of games like this. Like I said, still very keen on FIFA 17. I'm, I'm a big fan personally. I think most of us are. But it wasn't a game full of tons of goals. But you could still dominate somebody. And you could also feel as if your opposition was not going to score. Which is something that we can't always relate to with the last couple of FIFA installments. People leak out. They get a lucky bounce. Counterattack. You name it. I went into a 4 one 2 one 2 at half. Time. I just feel that I'm looking to play quickly with some of the ping pong passing, and that's not something that I got access wise. There we go. Cristiano, take it down, take it down, show me the shield. Cross the body, first goal. Never a question. First goal, 
easy pickings. First attack. Now we have that direct play that I was looking for. Watch him push him off. Did you see that with the shielding? That was a big deal in FIFA 17. You had these 50-50s where even as the offensive player, you could make that initial uh, contact or that confrontation. You could put your shoulder into the challenge. Ronaldo. That's fine. KDB. Try him. See, look at these chip through balls. Finesse. Finesse. We got a little finesse action. Ooh. Ooh. That was a dirty goal. We had that chip through ball once again. Then we resurfaced, re-angled, opened up our body off the fake shot. Ronaldo with the double. KDB providing the goods. But we're giving you the complete service. I do not remember free kicks in FIFA 17. We're definitely going to take it. Oh, oh, you have to move him over. Yeah, old school technique. I think we're going to aim in this area and then maybe upward. I don't remember the power. 50%, 28 yards. It was perfect. It was mis-aimed, maybe misspun, But everything else was good money. Look at this. Pinpoint. That is top corner, top bins if I didn't mess up the aim. There's another. Ronaldo with an easy, breezy, hat trick, pleasy. That did not go together well. Layoff, in behind, taps at home, goalkeeper, nothing could do with it. Nice. Why not? Why not? Top corner. Look at that. Outside of the boot, and it's a rocket. Travella, but with a love touch. Cristiano for four. Is there any doubt that Cristiano was a beast in this game? I think this reconfirmed. De Bruyne wants in the action. He wants in the action, and he is in the game. Do you see the oof behind that? Five goals in the second half. Knock over. Knock over the flag. You earned it. Turning a little bit clunky at some times. Some of the innovative methods to opening up space were just different mechanically. And with what fit the meta for FIFA 17. I haven't been using it, but it was the L2-R2. It's almost a slalom dribble. Pace control. Face up dribble. And I have not been using it. I just remembered how active, how important, almost how broken it was. And you needed a mastery. Because you are trying to penetrate this midfield. That seemed like they could not be beat. That game didn't showcase... The type of midfield that you were going up against in FIFA 17. Especially not if we're talking foot champs. Weekend league. Cristiano, four shots, four goals. The man converts. Man, good vibes. If you enjoyed a little retro FIFA, you should definitely check out the video. We covered FIFA 15. My favorite title, at least in the ultimate team portion of the franchise. Brilliant, good vibes, top to bottom. Goals were scored and there were so many skill move sessions, combination, play. I called the golden era of foot, which is when you're dealing with maybe FIFA 12 up to about FIFA 16. This title is in that new era, which is the foot champs or the weekend league era. And it's to be decided. There's been so many new introductions for menu streaming and menu content and SPCs and just general tasks and objectives that you can complete throughout the game, which is still very interesting and it should be there and it prolongs the experience. This year, for example, many of us complained about the gameplay, but this is the latest I've ever played a FIFA title. I was completely interested through summer heat. I played heavily up until August. I think that says something, but we need to bring the gameplay back for FIFA 21. If you enjoyed everything, make sure to drop some love. Comment, favorite FIFA title of all time. Let me know, fire it up, upvote something, downvote something, drop a heart on something, turn on notifications. FIFA 21 is gonna be lively, my friends. I'm getting everything set into motion. I am so damn excited. Got it all in the works. Got the game plan. It will be the true Dirty Mike return. But with that being said, I have a lot more content coming out for you ASAP, ASAP.